Todd, it's great to have you here at AFC Bournemouth. After a lot of speculation, it must be really nice to have this one over and done with. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, it's something I wanted to get done. I wanted to get out and, and get playing. And, you know, as, as soon as I knew it was a possibility, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty easy option for me. It's obviously been quite a quick turnaround. Have you had much of a chance to speak to Scott Parker at all yet? Yeah, I had a good conversation um, with the manager and uh, yeah, he, um, he said everything that you know made me think that this was definitely the right move for me. Um, and yeah, I, I like the direction the club's, the club's moving in and I want to be a part of it. And uh, yeah, I think we aligned in the same sense that you know, we both want success, so it should be good. You've obviously played here before with Norwich City. The games have always been quite close. How much are you looking forward to, you know, being out there and having those home fans behind you? Yeah, no, um, it's one of the stadiums that I've, I've come to and I've really appreciated. Um, you know, it's not the biggest stadium in the country, but it's got a really nice feel to it. You know, the pitch is a good quality. Um, you know, the fans were, 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 were a good noise here when I came. So I'm looking forward to being on the other side of it, definitely. Now, up till now, you've spent pretty much all of your footballing career at Norwich City. They've got Category 1 Academy. That must have been a really good foundation for you and your footballing career. Yeah, definitely. Um, I came through with a couple of lads um, like Max Ahrens and uh, Jamal Lewis. So, yeah, we've, we've, had, we've had a good amount of success um, at Norwich. And I think, you know, I think us coming through together probably helped us to get through. And we did have good facilities to do so and good coaches. So, um, now we've all done quite well from, from where we come from. Now, your first and only loan move up until now came with Fortuna Sittard in Holland's second division. That must have been a big learning curve for you, going somewhere abroad and, and playing regular football. Yeah, it was. Um, it was something that I decided to do around this time, probably four or five years ago, I should imagine, um, to really sort of kickstart my career. Uh, I needed to play games and it was an opportunity that played you know, good football and a good brand of football, which, which suited me and went out there and we had a bit of a love story. So, yeah, hopefully I'm looking for something similar here. Sounds like you, you certainly enjoyed it and you won promotion to the Eredivisie when you were there. Just give us your memories of that. It must have been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, when I first went, they were in a very good position, but they weren't, you know, nailed on to go up. Um, the club hadn't been in the top division for 17 years, I think. Um, so for, for, for me to be part of that and to, to contribute, you know, the way I did and, and to see the stadium at 3000 when I arrived and finish at 12 and a half um, was quite amazing. You know, you felt the impact for the for the area. There's similar to here and similar to Norwich it's kind of like a, a one club kind of city slash area so you know you, you feel like the togetherness and you feel it will build as you're there and it's, it's it was special to be a part of. Now you came straight back you were straight back into the team at Norwich you featured regularly since then you've won two promotions from the championship to the Premier League you've got that Premier League experience for someone that's only 23 years old you, you've certainly experienced a lot. Yeah yeah I have um, I think I've had altogether three promotions and obviously one relegation I think it's quite a lot to go through um, at my age but you know I think if you if you if you get that kind of experience and that exposure at a young age I think it helps you mature um, it helps you understand game management um, in other games and yeah, I'll look to take that forward with me. Those two promotions from the championship just from your experience what does it take to get out of this league it's the toughest league in the world as they say yeah it's a very difficult division um, there's a lot of teams that are very good teams there's a lot of players that are very good players and they're kind of scattered around a little bit um, from my experience in the championship and you know the experience I had with Norwich um, the brand of football we played is very similar to the brand that the manager wants to play here um, for me obviously it's been very successful so it's obviously not as straightforward as that but I think you know the players the manager I think everything that we've got here um, as a base, I think we've got the foundations to absolutely do exactly what we've done before um, and, you know, hopefully win the title. You mentioned earlier about that one club mentality at Norwich. That's certainly very much the mentality here. Everything's sort of on one side. It's very tight knit with the academy and the community. Was that something that for you, you know, sort of attracted you to AFC Bournemouth? Yeah, I, I think that's something in football that can be lost. And I think it's a special connection that you, you, you build with, you know, the club, the foundations, the staff you know, right through from the ground staff to the first team manager, I think it's important to have them relationships because ultimately you all want in success. And if you all come together and you all understand what we need to do to get there, then, you know, that there is no blurry line. So I think at any successful football club, I think there's a togetherness and I think there's an understanding that it means a lot to the local area. And, you know, that's, that's ultimately what everyone wants. They want success. So I think it's definitely the recipe. You've also had international recognition with England under 21s. That must have been a brilliant experience for you. Just sort of tell us a bit more about what you got out of that and what an honour it was to represent your country. Yeah, no, it's, um, I, I represented them at under 17s um, as well. Um, I was on standby for a long time after that. So then to obviously get called back up to the, the England under 21s, which, you know, feels like the reserve England team almost. Um, no, it was special. You know, I think every player wants to play for their country. 
um, you get a real it's, it's an honour to play for your country there's, there's no two ways about it um, and I think obviously the exposure I got there with some of the best young players in the country obviously helps um, I was a little bit unlu unlucky with a couple of injuries I got when I got called up so I probably didn't play as much as I'd have liked to um, but you know going to the Euros and stuff you know it's a great experience I know obviously we didn't, we didn't achieve what we wanted to but um, no it's something that is definitely very memorable for me. You certainly must know Lloyd Kelly from that time with England under 21s. Have you had a chance to see him today or, or speak to him at all over the last sort of, 24 hours? No, I, I mean, to be honest, things have happened very quickly. Um, there, was, there was a couple of different bits and pieces that needed to get sorted out. Um, so I haven't had a chance to, to drop him a line or anything. But, um, but yeah, no, obviously he's a fantastic player. I think you guys obviously know that um, from my experience. Um, you know, a centre-half that as an attacking player you want, you know, a kind of no-nonsense type centre-half, um, but one that can play with the ball as well. So I think he's got, you know, everything as an attacking player you want to see behind you, really. And a word on first-team coach Gary O'Neill. I understand you know him from, from Norwich. I guess, is it a similar situation? It's all moved too quickly to have a chance to speak to him? Yeah, exactly. Um, the only person I've spoken to here uh, before arriving was the manager. Um, and, you know, I think, obviously, the manager's you know view on things will probably be very similar to his staff so I think you know I'm looking forward to get going um, you know hopefully get down to training tomorrow and uh, yeah start start the hard work. Now you mentioned that style of play at Norwich being quite similar to the style of play here we play you know possession-based attacking football with someone that's such a forward-thinking player like yourself that must really excite you. Oh yeah completely um, it's it's the biggest factor for me um, I think you know any player will tell you they need to play in a team that suits them um, and I don't think there's a team, you know, out there in, in that I can think of that really suit me as much as this, especially with the conversations I've had with the manager and, you know, the, the staff here. And, you know, it seems completely aligned and, you know, it's something I'm really looking forward to just getting into and, uh, yeah, show them what I can do. Now, I have to ask, I've been speaking to your mum. She's come down with you here today. She said she's got a friend in Wimborne. She's got a friend in New Milton. They're both, you know, within 20 minutes of Bournemouth. It sounds like she is absolutely delighted that you're going to be playing football here for the rest of the season. She is indeed. Um, I ran it past my nana as well to check it was all right and she gave me the thumbs up. So, um, no, I've, I've got, I'm, I'm very close to my family. I think it's something, that, you know, in life you only get one of. And I think it's important to, to you know, to, to stay close to her. My, my mum, like, like you've just mentioned, has got some friends down here and... Uh, She's, um, she's probably not seen as much as she'd like because of the distance, but now she's got um, a pretty big hold here. So um, I'm hoping uh, she'll be here as much as she can. And just finally, on a bit of a lighter note, what's happening to the dog? Is he staying in Norwich? Is he coming <laughs> down, down here? It's on the side. It's in negotiations at the moment. We'll see what we come out with, but um, we might have to decide after deadline day.